everybody's watching it. I'm Michael Cole alongside Taz, and we welcome you to Portland, Oregon. It's been a long time since we've come to Portland, and it's great to be back. No doubt, no doubt, Cole. Tonight, the Rose City's gonna get its face rocked. And I can't wait. And neither can these fans. We better get started, or we might have a riot on our hands. Oh, man. This is just about the last hole you want to find yourself in. I can imagine. Just look at the pressure being applied here. It's so great seeing these athletes compete here tonight. I had a feeling they were going to wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, any time you throw these kind of combustible elements into a match, you get... Would you look at that? I can't believe he just ran that pole between his opponent's legs like that. You know what there, Michael? <laughs> I think I'd better just let that one slide. Whoa! I think these fans have... He can talk all he wants, Cole. But once he's lost the match, this guy's gonna wish that he spent more time going after his opponent. I think you're wrong about that, Taz. I think this is going to make his victory tonight that much sweeter. Look, don't call me Paul. I'm not your wife. She's a dangerous woman, to be sure, Taz. All right, you're never sure what she's going to do half the time. I don't even think she knows. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That ain't necessarily the case, Cole. Just because it's called a finisher doesn't mean it always ends the match. You sound like you're speaking from experience here, Taz. Of course not. Whenever I locked into Taz's mission, that was it. End of story. It was over. I think you're developing a selective memory in your old age, brother. as well, and having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Emotional? What the hell are you talking about? Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. You can literally feel the disappointment radiating off there. It's not a pretty sight. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, come on, Cole. You know, you should let me train you. You could be Cruiserweight champion in like a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Duh. They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Well, thanks, but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. There's not a superstar in the locker room who can afford to ignore these fans, Cole. You're right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of a job. Hey. Hanging off the ring apron is not where you want to be, and that's why. It's a tough position to get out of, and it really gives your opponent a chance to work through. He's going for the submission, and he might get it. He's got that hole locked in. I've been locked in this hole before, and it hurts even worse than it looks. I, look at this, Taz. He's going for... Uh, I, I know. I see it easy. Don't watch your pants. Calm down. Go for the Taz mission. It's an awesome move. And there's the submission hole. What a deadly maneuver this is. You're not kidding, Cole. Submission hole locked in. Here's your win. 